Hi boys and girls, how are you today? Happy Easter! I'm so happy to be celebrating Easter with you somehow from far away. I'm in my house recording and I've got Mrs. Bear here. This is um, my bear from my childhood when I was a girl and her and I have some very special memories together. She now, I gave her to my daughter, so she lives with my daughter in her room. But I borrowed her. She's going to be my snuggle friend for um, all the videos I make while I'm home. So I hope you have a snuggle friend, too. Um, I'm glad that you're watching this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And I thought I would just read you um, an Easter storybook so that you could celebrate Easter at home, even though we can't be together. Uh, I still want you to know that we are rejoicing and joyful and happy and so excited. Um, Jesus has risen. That's what Easter is all about. Okay, um, I'm sure the Easter Bunny may have visited your house too. And that is wonderful and exciting as well. But I want you to try and remember that in our faith, this day is a very sacred and holy special day because uh, Jesus died on Good Friday, but he rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. And that's what this book is all about, okay? This is called The Easter Story. Are you ready, Mrs. Bear? We're gonna read this book, sound good? Yeah, she likes it. Okay, and this is written by Patricia A. Pingree, and it's illustrated by Mary Ann Utt. So Patricia wrote the words and Mary Ann drew the pictures. Okay, so listen here, we'll read together. This book I got from our library at church, the Lehman Library. You can check out books from there too. Okay, here's another title page, The Easter Story. When we celebrate Easter, we remember that God gave us his son, Jesus Christ to be our Savior. Oh, beautiful colors. I see some Easter lilies and some sheep. Jesus made sick people well. He even made the dead alive again. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples. He told them that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. Those are his friends. But some people didn't want to hear about God. They didn't want to listen to Jesus. On Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem. People shouted, Hosanna! To our king. There's Jesus riding in on the donkey. And what are they waving? Do you see? They're waving palms, just like we talked about last Sunday was Palm Sunday. Later, Jesus and his disciples ate the Passover supper. Jesus washed their feet to show them how much he loved them. After supper, they went to a garden to pray. But the men who didn't like Jesus sent soldiers to arrest him. Jesus was sent to die. His disciples were very sad, but Jesus had told them that he would rise again after three days. On the third day, women went to Jesus' tomb. The tomb was open and Jesus was not there. That night, Jesus' disciples were in a locked room and suddenly Jesus appeared. He was alive. Jesus said, go and tell everyone that if a person believes in me, they will be saved and they will live forever. This is the Easter story that Jesus is alive today. And because he died for us, 
we are alive too. The end. So that's a little Easter story for you, okay? So that you can um, remember the story of Christ's death and his resurrection, which means coming back from the dead. And you can celebrate Easter with your family. I also emailed some fun activities for your family to do together. Um, you could do one of them, you could do all of them, you could do none of them, whatever you all want. Um, but always remember, Miss Lauren loves you, Mrs. Bear loves you, and God loves you. I hope you have a great day. Happy Easter.